Sziasztok, volt a gyakor. Fébb a hármat. Ugye, itt is be, ugye, Pékin is király, ugye. Na de, most végig. All right, I've got it. I take a small group of soldiers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future queen to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. I see you've really matured on your travels. If you'll look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke and the fire and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. <laughs> Less chance of getting lost. Then we're agreed. Are you sure you're up to this, Walter? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired. The day hasn't come yet when I can't charge into a good old-fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin. Our people are getting torn to shreds out there. They need our help. We need to take care of that mortar. We've already lost one ship. Kaylin's good next. Come on. Right. It's time you led from the front. We'll follow every step of the way. Ready? Let's go. Blow up this one. Incoming Can you take that water out?
The Auroran ship should be able to move in closer now. Come on, Kaylin, do your stuff. This time you've ever had! <laughs> Sabine, you almost blew us up! You saw a glorious beacon of freedom burning in the night for all the... <laughs> what is it, Boulder? Oh, bloody hell. Move! Move! It'll take more than a grenade to finish off that old sword. Meanwhile, let's do what he says and get moving, shall we? you made to Kaelin is now on the wall with the others. I'm afraid your property was irreparably damaged during the battle. The armory is at your disposal. Why just stab or shoot your enemies when you can set them on fire? Excellent combination of gauntlets.
this one up. I thought people were supposed to open doors for Queens, not the other way around. Shut up, then. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Okay. The armory is at your disposal. Look, it's Paige. Well, that girl knows how to handle herself. Come on, we're not far from the castle now. We'll meet up with her there. There's more of them! Damn it, soldier! It's your That combination is bound to get their attention.
What we need are explosives, but I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny, crazy old man who enjoyed blowing things up. Yeah, <laughs> Did you see that order that the whole city bowed to our thunder? Hang on. How did you get to the other side in the first place? Dwellers have their ways, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will be soon. More troops are on the way. Kalian's fleet got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Alder, there's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the crown fits. Let's finish this for good, while I can still stand up on my own. Let's go. You're an unpleasant piece of work, ain't you? Shall we knock? No. Let's surprise him. So, this is how it ends. The old fool and the child who ran away. You finally become the woman I always wanted you to be. She's a lot more than that, and now she's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader, just another tyrant. Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Power behind ignorance if you will. But my sister deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then. She is the Queen of Albion. You've made it just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier, though. 
You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, <laughs> you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who can keep you organized. Let me introduce you to... Hobson. Hobson's the name, your majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> That, your majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial? Of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I yeah. heartily believe the key to being a successful queen huh. is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, your majesty. I cannot tell you what joy it brings me to The armory is at your disposal. Burning a foe can have a profound psychological impact on his fellows, unless they're heartless brigands or mindless animals, which probably encompasses. You've acquired a full royal suit. Are you comfortable? I'm not entirely certain that the mannequin is. You're dressed as a chicken. What are you? What are you? What are you planning to do? Dressed as a chicken. <laughs> uh. All stand to attention for the Queen of Albion. Any day that she can have it, man. I'll just be my king. Logan, former king of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul That's alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I say is, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work, but killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate, but his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true. If it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, sister. Now choose. Yeah. You can't escape punishment for what you've done, Logan. 
I sentence you to death. <laughs> has made her decision. Logan will pay for his crimes against the people of Albion. <laughs> so You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are queen, you can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Alvin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of surviving. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler, but understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth. But you may also choose to break those promises, to harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need, but you will be hated. This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced, and be the hero and stand against it. Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, 
We have to be ready when it comes. You will need to raise a fortune. To pay for the army, we will need you. Hobson will show you the treasury. And I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. If you will follow me, your majesty. Oh, how I have looked forward to this moment. Jó. Aj, nem azt akartam, te idiót. This is it. Albion's royal treasury. The store of the kingdom's total wealth. Hm. Ó, It's well, not as some um, replete as one would like, but just imagine this room shimmering with hills, valleys, and plateaus of gold. A topography of riches going all the way up to the ceiling. It will require nothing less to build this army everyone is talking about. Which brings us to the second item on today's agenda, and one I'm personally very excited about. Setting the tax rate for the coming year. As you probably know, your brother is taxing the people rather heavily, and some say that this has led to poverty, starvation, and other societal ills. You have three clear choices, Your Majesty. One, lower the tax rate, which one could argue would help the poor and the hungry, but would also leave the treasury in a miserable state. Two, maintain Logan's policies. Not a popular move with the people, but moderately popular with the treasury. And three, and don't let my enthusiasm influence you in any way, raise the taxes even further. True, many will suffer in the short term, but we will be able to protect the kingdom and run our fingertips over vast amounts of gold <laughs> in this very room. What will it be, Your Majesty? Very well, Your Majesty. Ah, an arousing sight, is it not? Breathe in that gilded air. Our tax collectors have not wasted any time carrying out your wishes. Certainly some people will starve to death, but it's a small price to pay for the security of our land. If you carry on being this decisive, the treasury will soon be overflowing. Perhaps you could even take a little of the money for yourself. Wink, wink. However you decide to proceed, you should acquaint yourself with the royal ledger. It is a logbook that allows the reigning monarch to make deposits and withdrawals from the treasury. A most useful financial tool. But my, look at the time. You really ought to attend to the next item on today's agenda. Okay. Reba has a most intriguing proposal for you in Bowerstone Industrial. Now I know you have had your differences, but it is time to put those behind you and work together. Nobody can raise money like Reba can, I assure you. I have seen to it that your appearance among the populace is well publicized. So expect a crowd. Hát ő is két millió hallgató kell hozni. Új, igen, meg kemény műtéti. Nem csinálhat le a kista. Na, vagy Ah, hello! I trust you are finding everything, all right? Ja. Whatever you feel comfortable in. Feel free to change the color of your clothes or hair using the dyes. That is, after all, what they are for. Well, that certainly makes a perfect conversation piece for all sorts of horrible conversations. Okay, 
sobre Wait a minute. I don't think it's it. I see you are in need of some tailoring. There are clothes quite close at hand should you wish to wear any. Ah, so we'll have to be getting it. Yeah, good ass. Don't tempt. Oh, happy day! Her Majesty, the Queen of Albion, graces us with her radiant presence. I knew last time we met that you would emerge victorious from such public sibling rivalry. And now, here I am to assist you in filling your coffers till they are fit to burst. What better way to begin your reign than by reinstating one of my most successful policies? There is no greater waste than the idleness of our city's youth. But my employment scheme guarantees children of all ages will have something to occupy them, whilst ensuring our factories are properly manned. That's... it's just monstrous. Don't listen to him. You promised you would end child labor. Remember that promise now. And what would you have us do with the snotty little indigents? The only way Bowerstone is going to climb out of the gutter is through education. Nothing is more important to our future than that. Turn this factory into a school. Give the children of this city the chance they never had. A school? Well, that's an original thought. Well, if you'd like to be known as a pauper monarch, then by all means, listen to her. Reva Industries will abide by your decision. Sorry. <laughs> the factory will be reopened as it was. We need all the workers we can get. A most astute choice, Your Majesty. I shall begin the necessary modifications <laughs> at once. I will never forgive you for this. <laughs> After all we've done, you're no different to Logan. <laughs> to the reopening of Reva Industries Youth Center, where we care for your young 20 hours a day, teach them valuable skills, and ensure they never, ever get into trouble. Welcome to the sanctuary. It would appear that you have come to the right place. Hey, Yoles. You? I'm going to go to the sanctuary. Hey, Yoles. Mission <laughs> Kira <laughs> 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 Today, we will decide what is to be done with the Bowerstone Old Quarter, site of the Battle for Albion. 
Paige will offer her proposal. Reva shall stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, our victory came at a great cost to the city. You have done little to improve the lives of your citizens since you came to power. But it's not too late to start. I ask that the old quarter be rebuilt and its former residents rehomed. You wouldn't just be helping those in great need. You'd be sending a message to your people. They're scared, Your Majesty. Let them know they can count on you. Your Majesty, the old quarter was indeed devastated by your glorious triumph, but as its name subtly implies, it was old. The cost of rebuilding the area would be a colossal waste of money, Please, and awesome. the people who called its decrepit shambles of streets and houses their home are better off without it. Besides, one must question what they have to offer our society. Why build homes for the inept and the unskilled? I recommend you reject Paige's proposal and keep the money for more deserving endeavors. It was our actions that caused the devastation, Your Majesty. But the final decision rests with you. <laughs> now is not the time to build houses. We have other priorities. The request is denied. No. The Queen has reached her decision. The old quarter shall become a monument to our victory and is to be left untouched. Sanity prevails. And, and do not fret. I shall make sure there is no negative publicity attached to your decision. You have turned your back on those who need you the most. I wonder if anything has really changed since we overthrew your brother. I want for the Mammy. Despite the heartless demands of the greedy few, we are proud to announce that the historic site of Bowerstone Old Quarter will forever be preserved as a monument to this city's greatest triumph. Join me, Reva, in saluting our proud heritage. <laughs> Is there a more beautiful spectacle <laughs> 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 Forgive me the rhetorical question. In any case, we are certainly doing well, but we are still short of the target. As a matter of fact, our very first order of business might have a bearing on our financial situation. The time has come to decide the annual town guard budget. As you can imagine, the people like to complain about crime and the lack of safety on our streets and are calling for more guards than your brother was ever willing to pay for. You have three choices, Your Majesty. Leave the budget as it is. After all, the people have grown accustomed to murder, theft, and contraband. Increase the budget and fill the streets with soldiers keeping the peace. A rather costly solution. Or take a more considered approach by lowering the budget. For what is the point of a safe, well-policed kingdom when it is too poor to protect itself from certain Annihilation. <laughs> Very wise, Your Majesty. Better to have a city full of criminals than a city full of very dead people. Let us now turn our attention to the rest of today's business. Here is the royal schedule I have prepared. As you can see, you have a busy day in the court, but a tremendously enjoyable one. Decoration is a passion of mine, and I simply cannot wait to see your choice. The interior designers await you in the throne room. Ain't so bad, really. All stand to attention for the Queen of Albion. 
Today, you decide on the decor of the castle. Two of Albion's greatest interior designers have come to present their suggestions. You may speak. I say it, Your Majesty, I am Herman Worthy, and I have a design in mind that will blow your little royal socks off. Imagine a celestial scheme capable of lifting the shadows that haunt these halls. A fabulous balance of serene hues that announce to the world, I am a strong, virtuous leader. Hear me roar. But also, look how pretty my home is. You are an enlightened queen. Let the heart of your castle be enlightened too. Celestial? Serene? Pretty? Don't you wish to be known as a ruler or as a fool? I am Sybil Maleficent, Your Majesty, and I can tell you that people respect what <laughs> they fear. This castle should be a fortress of dread. I propose that we flood the rooms and corridors with blood, or at least a suitable paint substitute. Let all those who look upon this palace know terror, whether they be your subjects or your enemies. It may seem trivial, but appearances can affect the opinion of the entire kingdom. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. I wish this to be a fortress of dread. The readers of Castle Design Weekly will be delighted with your intelligent <laughs> choice. Well, I, for one, am seriously considering cancelling my subscription. You're all, you're all witches. <laughs> you got that, <bad> blood. <laughs> Today, you decide on the future of Aurora, Your Majesty. Kaylin will speak for her people. Reva will dispute her cause. You may speak. I am here to seek the protection you promised. It is too long since my people felt safe or knew of life without suffering. We were honored to join your fight to claim Albion. Now it is time we joined your kingdom. Do what your brother failed to do. Help us to rebuild Aurora and protect it as you would your own land. There is nothing so noble as embracing other cultures, and I, for one, could not be happier to count Aurora as part of Albion. I do, I do. 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 And I happen to know she just how to put them to good service. There is an abandoned mine in the Auroran Desert that holds enough materials to benefit the whole kingdom. Let us employ Kaylin and her people to gather what resources there may be. That can be their payment. You are talking about forced labor. Well, let's not get bogged down in semantics. It's a fair transaction. I know you will not break your oath. You understand what we have been through. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. Aurora will become part of Albion. But they must work for this privilege. The Queen has spoken. Aurora shall be mined for resources. Its Let's people shall receive the right protection next. of the throne in exchange for their labor. You are no better than your brother. He may have left us to die, but you wish only to exploit us. <laughs> Welcome to the new and improved Aurora, an oasis of friendship, camaraderie, and valuable resources. Visit the I city of Zuba Industries, rebuilt from sand and tour the local mines where you can witness the Aurorans refreshingly vigorous work ethic. Aurora, a gem glowing in the darkness.
a wise decision in court today, Your Majesty. While it is true that your popularity in Aurora has suffered, the people closer to home are not too concerned. This could prove to be a very profitable arrangement. And speaking of Aurora and profits, we may have stumbled upon some very exciting news in that area. It seems that a group of Albion explorers visiting Aurora have discovered a rare diamond in the desert. They heard the legend of this extraordinary gem from the locals and understandably set out to find it without a moment's regard for their own lives. Which may go some way to explaining why only one of the explorers returned in one piece. He came back empty-handed, speaking of the hideous desert beings protecting the treasure. Think of the glory, your majesty, the adventure, the romance. The large sums of money we stand to make. The diamond oh, is located in one of the caves beneath the Auroran wasteland, reportedly the site of an ancient abandoned temple. You need only to take it. Hey, that's that. I am on the Highness, I am your most loyal subject. Well, there is this fellow called Andrew, but after him, it's me. The secret I bear is as secure now as it was when it was entrusted to me many thousands of years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. It's actually more secure now than it was then, because even I don't know it. Well, this is a bit embarrassing. I, I, I'm going to go now. <laughs> if I remember it, I'll give you a holler. Szép igény, kemős voltam, de mondom, hogy itt nem veszek az. Egyik ész négy millió. Mit hozzá is adhatok, de az már később. Kiderül, hogy mennyi.
It's what it should look like. <laughs> Én nem látok akárkit. Ezt hívom, hogy bikini őrületnek. Bikini sem királykodni. Hát ez egy őrült végigjátszás. Mi is teszek majd róla, hogy őrült végigjátszás. Oké, okay, srácok. Köszönöm, hogy megeszem, ennyi szavaztam.